Hey folks, it's that time of the year. It's St. Patrick's Day 2018 and uh, time to remove the cold frame uh, panels from the uh, palms that we have in here. So these are all unheated cold frames and uh, I put them aside until next fall. That was good to cover up those uh, liner size seedlings. They're uh, in 2.5 liner size pots. We have thousands of them in here. Trekkie Carpus Fortunae, Trekkie Carpus Hybrid, and Trekkie Carpus Wagnerianus. So these uh, six by four foot flex and panels do the trick and the palms are looking just amazing. The interesting thing is these palms, uh, I put these cold frames on, I think it was November, just before I went to Maui, and they have not been watered since. So these have been kept without water till today, which is March 17th. It's a beautiful day out here. The weather's been actually quite dry in March. And uh, winter is pretty much non-existent here. Now it's gone. We're safe to say it is spring. And uh, it was a really nice winter. We didn't have any really cold temperatures, minus 2.5 degrees Celsius. So we're still in zone 9A. That's our growing zone here at this end of the island. For those of you that don't know, Salt Spring Island, we have three growing zones, 8A, 8B, and 9A. And at this end of the island, we are in 9A. The ocean is just right across the street there. And on the other side of us, we're at the point of the island, very narrow up here. It's not very far into the other side. So when you have more ocean water and less land, you know, if you know anything about climates, and zones, the ocean uh, moderates the uh, air. The water moderates air, regular, it regulates the air. So we don't get the extremes here. And uh, I'll show you, I'm gonna grab the camera in a minute. And we'll show you all of these, all of these palm seedlings. I'm also gonna rake away the mulch. I'm gonna rake away the mulch from all of these uh, Trekkie Carpus uh, Fortuni one gallons here. So that's what we do for the winter. And uh, Looking pretty good, huh? There's more up there too. There's hundreds and hundreds of palm trees here in pots, so that's what they're looking like. They're in pretty good, pretty good shape. Trachycarpus fortuni. And hybrids. And Wagnerianus. Those are just doing beautiful. These look like, I think these might be razorbacks. Let's see what we have here. These are hybrids. God, they're really, really healthy. So that's with no heat, unheated cold frames, and no water since November. So here you go. And then these guys, like I say, I'm going to take all this mulch. I'll use the mulch in the gardens. That's maple leaves from the trees up here. There's a few maple trees around, native ones, not a lot. Don't have a lot of deciduous stuff here. But what we do have gives enough to pretty much mulch these plants. And then I do bring leaves home from work too, from the parks throw them in here. All right. Thanks for watching folks. Happy gardening and happy St. Patty's Day. It's an awesome day on the rock.